What is up, Breaking Bad fans? Kino here, and we are back with another Breaking Bad log. Today, we're looking at the 11th episode of Season 4, Crawl Space. Now, the episode opens in a makeshift hospital in Mexico. Jesse arrives with a wounded Mike and an unconscious Gus. The doctors focus their attention on saving Gus, leaving Mike with his gunshot wound. When Jesse asks for help, they tell him that Gus is the one who pays them, which means they save him first. After the title, Walt is working in the lab with Tyrus. He asks for updates about Jesse, and also tells him that he will not work if they've killed Jesse. Later, he takes Hank to the chicken farm for a stakeout. The farm has been cleared out at this point, and there's nothing there to find. Hank asks Walt about his eye, but Walt says that he isn't going to explain himself anymore. Again, he's taken Hank's genuine concern as a personal attack. In Mexico, Jesse sees that the hospital has all of their medical information, showing that Gus has planned for everything. When he's recovered, Gus tells him that they need to leave. Since Mike is injured, they'll leave him there for now. Gus and Jesse then prepare for a six-mile walk to the border. Gus tells Jesse that he can now run the lab on his own, but Jesse says that he will not work for Gus if he kills Walt. Despite everything, Jesse still has some loyalty to Walt. Meanwhile, Skylar gets a call from Ted, saying that he can't take her money. She goes to visit him, insisting that he pay the IRS. He says that paying the IRS won't solve his money problems, which she interprets as an attempt to blackmail her into giving him even more money. With no other options, she calls Saul. After returning to America, Gus brings Jesse with him to visit Hector. He tells him about what happened in Mexico, taunting him with the death of his comrades. He also tells him that Jesse shot and killed his nephew Joaquin, the last remaining relative of his. This means that the Salamanca name will die with him. Jesse is shocked at this display of cruelty from Gus. Meanwhile, Hank has Walt drive him again. This time, though, Hank says that he wants him to take him to the laundromat. Knowing that's where the meth lab is, Walt drives into oncoming traffic in order to keep him away. Though it works, Hank decides to buy a handicap car so he can drive himself, only delaying the problem. Meanwhile, Saul sends two of his guys, Kubi and Huel, to Ted's house. They force their way in and threaten him into obeying them. They force him to write a check to the IRS and are going to stay with him until it clears. However, Ted tries to run, slipping on his rug and bashing headfirst into the kitchen island, breaking his neck. Back at the lab, Walt returns after four days off. He's forced to be smuggled into the lab in a dirty laundry bin. However, he sees that someone else has been cooking while he's gone. He realizes that Jesse must have been cooking without him. At Jesse's house, he and Brock are playing video games and having a good time. Walt arrives and asks to talk with Jesse. He confronts Jesse about the cooking, saying that if he agrees to replace him, Gus will have him killed. Jesse responds that Walt refused to help him when he was in trouble and tells him to stay away. Walt is then ambushed by Tyrus, who tases him and knocks him out. It's also funny to note that Tyrus continues to tase him, and along with the fact that he forced him to be in dirty laundry, you can really tell that Gus's subordinates just really hate Walt. They then take Walt out to the middle of the desert, where Gus tells him he's fired. He's ordered to stay away from Pinkman and the lab, or else. However, Walt realizes that if Gus could kill him, he would, which means that Jesse is still protecting him. Gus admits that he can't kill him for now, but says that he is going to get rid of Hank. He warns Walt that if he interferes, he will kill Walt's entire family, including his infant daughter. They then cut Walt loose and leave him in the desert. Back in Saul's office, he confronts QB and Huel about what happened to Ted. Walt bursts in and tells Saul about Gus. 
He asks for the number for the Disappearer, as he needs to flee with his family before Gus kills them. Saul gives it to him, but warns that it's going to be very expensive. Walt then asks Saul to call the DEA and warn them that Hank is in danger. He refuses to name Gus specifically, but says that he'll say it's the cartel coming back to finish the job. Walt then goes to get his family. Walt rushes home to grab the money, but finds that almost all of it is gone. Skylar arrives and tells Walt that she gave it to Ted. Desperate and out of options, Walt begins to laugh psychotically as he realizes that all hope is lost. Skylar then gets a call from Marie, telling her that the cartel is coming for them. We end the episode on one of the most powerful shots in the series, with Walt laughing from his crawl space as the camera pulls up. When Skylar visits Ted, we can see him slightly tripping on his rug, a foreshadowing of what will happen to him in this episode. Also, when he hits his head, he knocks over some of the oranges, which are a symbol associated with violence and death from the Godfather. The game Jesse and Brock are playing is Sonic the Hedgehog, also known as Sonic 06. It's considered one of the worst Sonic games of all time by most of the fans. Finally, Hector Salamanca can be seen watching the film The Bridge on the River Kwai. The movie deals with conflicting loyalties, just like Jesse is feeling in this episode. The film also features a very big explosion, which I'm sure is not foreshadowing at all. If you're interested, I actually did a review of the movie long before I started doing television content. I'll link to it in the description of this video. And that's pretty much everything I have to say about the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next one, coming soon. What would make you unhappy? These little motherfuckers not subscribing. Russell, Sean, Heart of Markness, Logan, Clean, John Reyna, Jesse Sterling, Andrew Stewart, Obscracing Media, Daz J Kid, Conan Higgins, Sam Cedarlin, Don Lucania, Celery Man, Jenna Marie Johnson, Brad Smith Studios, and Uncle Mike. <laughs>